Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play on the channel of Starpoint Gemini's Warlord's newest DLC, The uh, Rise of Namibia, which I'm going to continually say wrong, which was given to me by Little, Mink, Little Green Man Gaming, or Incorporate. I don't remember what the last post, I just know it's LMG. So anyway, let's get into oh, the LG. Yeah. You get the point. It was given to me by them, just the, you get the point. Anyway, so let's read through the scenario, because this DLC is majority just a scenario that adds... Obviously new stuff, but it gives you uh, like a new campaign. So it's a campaign scenario So the Queen of Namibia has returned even though she was gone for quite some time things have already changed since her arrival She has reunited all the Namibia tribes and restored the kingdom to its former glory And her next step is expansion throughout through any means necessary The Queen was born in a distant galaxy where her father went to wage war and now that she's back after almost half a decade of being gone she wastes no time to bring her father's vision of Gemini, clo uh, clo 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 Gemini closer. And it's up to you to follow her command and bring forth the new age of Namibia. So we start at level 15 with a Corvette or Frigate. I believe it's Corvette or Frigate, um, or maybe both. Uh, the resources we start with medium. We start with 12 million. And we start with two fleets, one of 6k, one of 15k. HQ stays, some improvements are already built. Alignment, the biggest factions are hostile. So let's get straight into it. I'm looking forward to playing this game. I have not played this game in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to design ourselves. Uh, if you, we're, well, you know, we get to, we have to be a woman, so we'll be we'll be this one. She looks imposing. Play Vanguard this time, and I think I'm going to go for. Who is it? Oh. So we can have this one, which is a frigate, or that, which is a corvette. I'm going to have this one. It's Nubia, and it's a frig, uh, corv, uh, a frigate. So there you go. Yes, there we go. So this is our ship. It's pretty decent looking. Actually, it's no, it's, um, that's a lie. It's quite nice. It's very nice looking. So we do have a lot of skill points. So to get overload, we need to be level 20. So we, we don't even have overload. So I'm going to get that to level 5. Definitely get you to level 5 too. And you know what? Get you to level 5. But I think I'll, I'll put my last points there. Uh, so perks, ships. I'm just going to immediately give myself a gunship. And I'm going to give myself destroyer as well as soon as I can. Weapons. Again, I like railguns, so... Going to go immediately for the railgun training. Now warfare, tactical appraisal. Savvy chief I, I would like. I'll get privateer for now and we'll get cutthroat. Brigand, and then uh, maybe Outlaw soon enough. Tread lightly. Yep, that'll do useful. Be useful, and yeah, get those two, get that as well. Personal. Well, we obviously want Freelancer. I think Treasure Hunter as well. Or wait, mm. but what science is like? Yeah, we'll, we'll get. What about Treasure Hunter? No, I'm really interested. Yeah, we'll get di Diplomat, at least level 2. And Merchant, level 1. Governing. Hmm. Field, Logistics, and Tax Collector. So let's have a look at our ship. So these are the ships we can buy. We've got the Bonas, which is the gunship. The Nohoma, which is the Corvette. The Walavis, which is the destroyer frigate. We've got the Myrmidon, which is the uh, another. Wow, we've got two frigates. Ah, that's Nexus, so we're not we're not worried about that. We've got the Okahara, which is the destroyer, which I can actually fly. So I may switch straight into that. Um, I mean, we've got more cargo, more of well, more hull. I mean, yeah, may as well just go straight for it. I mean. We'll trade our ship in. Uh, well, anyway, back to the shipyard. So then we got the uh, Tantis, which is the uh, the cruiser. Bishop, which is our um, battleship. The Kaonos, Tread Red Nought, and the Aranos um, cruiser. Or carrier, sorry. So, uh, let's have a look at our ship. I believe there is a... I can't remember. Yeah, we'll just customize. So this is our uh, ship. 
Hang on a minute. Wait a fucking second. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this, that reminds me of something. That, that looks too shit similar to um, a mod from Stellaris. Like, this is the the exact uh, like cruiser from the Kuragain uh, ship mod pack I use. I don't, I didn't know if that's how it's meant. I don't know if that was meant to be, but fuck me, it looks way too similar. I'm pretty sure it is as well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so let's get back to the game. So let's go, let's go with what we got. So we've got REMs, which are, we've got, we've got like, we've got, we've got uh, rail guns. So I mean, can't complain. Uh, your enhancements, I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, so we've got, yeah, the rippers are the better ones, I believe though. Yeah, they also cost 1.2 million each. Um, I think I'm going to go for the R Ripper 2s. Or just the Rippers. Mm, now we'll go Ripper 2. Get a Ripper 2 there. And right here, we'll get a Ripper 2. Now, this is going to cost us quite a bit of money, but... I think a turret. Yeah, it's gonna buy max, configure turret, buy max, figure, buy maximum. And shit, we've got a mining beam at the back. Well, let's uh, let's try and get rid of that with a uh, well, a ripper. Because I prefer, I prefer, like I said, I prefer rail guns. So we've got uh, a Cerberus Heavy Weapon, they are Shockwaves, we'll keep those. And I think I'll get maybe an Ion Cannon at the front, or Ooh, maybe a Harbinger. Hmm. Well, well, you know, we'll stay away from the Heavy Weapon. Actually, no, I do need some more Heavy Weapons, so... Well, these, these are Cerberuses, which are these guys. Hmm... I'm going to mount two hammers. And that is going to be what we go with. And we can carry five crafts. So I think we'll carry interceptors. So. That's that done. Um, that took us a long time. So the main thing is. We just need to really go do some you badass stuff. See you again. So. Who the fuck is that? Oh. Apparently, that's, uh, I have a person. Let's just hail them. Uh, apparently, I cannot hail them. So, we have two fleets. We have this fleet up here, which is the 6.5. And I'm going to do what I, I do best, and I'm just going to unite the fleets with me. Uh, and this is the 17k fleet, not a 15k. It's got two dreadnoughts. It's going to be basically really good. I think the first thing I'm going to start trying to do is to maybe take out these guys who are in my territories. Now, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I do know now what to do when it comes to, um, uh, like, uh, anomalies and whatnot. We scan them. Joey's an asshole. Joey was an idiot when he used to when he first played this game. And he didn't have a clue what he was doing. So, we could give that away for gas. I'm not really, like, I'm not really, don't think we need that right now. So we've got 9 out of 12 on the Proxima project, which is uh, gives us the ability to take over planets. So, And we do have... These guys are our ally. They are Eastland. So we've got... I believe this map is smaller than the, the normal map. I think it is, yeah. doesn't really matter. We're in this to play the, 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 the expansion, so I'm not worried. And we've got a lot of fleets, ladies and gentlemen. That's something I, I I will like to mention. We've got a lot of civilian fleets. We did just spend, though, 10 million of our gold. So let's get back in here. Research. Yeah, Proxima, we can do... I think the f main thing we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just get the money for the Proxima. Uh, hyperspace torrent gates. I mean, you're not, I'm, not even, I'm just going to get the Proxima, ladies and gentlemen. That's something I think is going to be the mo most ef uh, effective. Um... And I'm gonna go hunt this veteran. Safe travels. Well, I'm go. I am going to. I'm just gonna wait for my my uh, fleets to get to me first. Should take should take them a while. So, I mean, uh, I've got overload. I've got shotgun. 
got Ram. I mean, I've got all of these are good levels as well. And I've also got... Oh, we've got some active defense, heavy shield boost. So we've got some good stuff right now, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's a way of me looking around. I cannot remember. I know there's a way of... Me looking around. I'm looking at my person. I just can't remember what it is. So, we're going to sit on this screen until my uh, fleets get nearby. So, it looks like we've got, like, there's at least... F oh, yeah, there's also moons now to take over. Interesting. HQ reports one of our fleets have returned. Uh, good, good, good. We'll keep sending these fleets out. We do need to get torrent gates, though, because they're, they're just... They're very useful. Some more of them. Are these guys coming back, so... I'm going to try and stay away from these ones for now, because I don't know what I need to do with them. Well, I don't know if I need them. Is Sorry, it's more accurate. So, we're not going to worry about them. Now, I'm there's people who pl probably play this game, well, played this game more recently, probably think this is going to be quite stupid, bringing my fleets and bringing them to me. One of our fleets have finished their job. But... Personally, I always think I always have a little. It's a lot easier because then you can start doing shit like better shit. Um, like you can just you can take out more like more powerful stuff, and you don't have an issue. Uh, we'll probably try and unite with these guys first, because these are our friends as well. These guys are the Highland friends of ours. And there we go. We got. Where are they? There we go. They'll probably get broke, be destroyed, but doesn't really matter. I'll just build some more. We've got a weekly income of a uh, good amount of stuff. Right, um, yeah, my this other navy is going to be Engaging take a little while, life. so we're just going to go straight there. Get you as close as fucking possible. That way you'll. Uh, when he, if I can get him there, I should be able to get him to come to me. You know, fuck it, come to me, because he'll, he, he'll he'll continually write his path, HQ so it's not a problem. One of our fleets have returned. And we get to hunt the veteran. Yay! I have missed this game, ladies and gentlemen, I will admit. So I'm gonna I'm looking very much looking forward to uh, basically conquering the game, conquering this galaxy with the uh, special faction. Please, oh, yep, yeah, as usual, my entire fleet peeled off. God damn it, I keep... Affirmative. Engage sublight. Right, so yeah, my uh, big fleet is, is pulling up. HQ reports. One right, it's 8,000. Scanning range is 8,000. Nope. Wow, whoa. Scanning range is a lot flipping further than I remember. Or a lot closer than I remember. Uh, we've read location, so let's uh, go with the EMP. There he is. Engaging automated protocols. All weapons on auto mode. There we go. So what does that do? Deals large damage and over the area. Now ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize about the lagging. Right, I tested it, it wasn't this bad, so... I'm gonna have to lower the set end a little bit. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. No, it shouldn't be that bad. Well, just, well obviously it is, so I need to, I need to fix that. Oh god, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. That is horrid. That is horrid lag right there, ladies and gentlemen. All my fault though, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Mission status completed. So apparently my computer does not like the fighting, so I need to change I need to take that down a little bit. Alright. So, I need to obviously fix that, ladies and gentlemen. So, it's probably not do anything too, too intrusive that, uh, while we were in, in, in during this well part. So, I, after this part, I can actually go fix it. So, we have a 25k fleet on our tail, ladies and gentlemen. On our tail, but with us. So, Engaging let's, go let's go take out this station quickly then. 
that should do. Right, so. Note to self that uh, the game definitely lags. That's good to know. Most certainly my issue, though. Jesus Christ, that's quite far away. And we don't seem to have anything that makes light get me, gets me there easier. So we'll just, we'll just have to drive there slowly. So you're Eastland and you The bounty listing indicates that these ships are the lackeys of a known wanted outlaw. Obviously, we're going to go fight them, aren't we? Jesus Christ game, what the fuck? I do not know, ladies and gentlemen, why the fuck it's being so, uh, cunty. And we're gonna try and, uh, take over Plato. Should have enough strength to do it. We'll have to wait and see, won't we, ladies and gentlemen? 15% chance. We've managed to decrypt messages sent to the lackeys. The location has been marked on the star chart. So, we've got 10 million for his demise. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go do that then, aren't we? Hopefully, his fleet will uh, be a little bit kinder to me. So, everything so far, ladies and gentlemen, is going pretty well, I would say. I mean, we're, uh, we're doing good. I mean, the Numibia, I mean, we're pretty big, and we have a pretty o OP fleet to begin with, so... I mean... Can't really ask for more, can we? So if we had enough uh, like metals, we could uh, we could easily start making Mark One uh, carriers. Which well, I don't really want to spend them. On. I don't really want to. I don't really want to build them just yet. I think we'll be okay without it. Affirmative. Engage sublight. Oh, I was on the wrong of the menus. I was on that one, I guess, or something, because. It wasn't actually going then, which... Ah, well, what can you do? What can you do, ladies and gentlemen? What can you do? Well, one thing we do need to do is start invading people and start taking these guys out. So we'll definitely do that as soon as we can. As soon as we... Once we get the Proxima, we're probably just going to immediately start uh, bitch slapping some people. Eh, we can ignore the anomalies, they're not important. For Concord. Uh, fleets, formations. Hey, my fleet's actually doing as it's told and getting into a uh, the formation I told it to. Nope, they all just fucked off to kill them. That Alright, fair enough, I mean, I was close. I was close. There's another set of our fleet. I don't know why yellow is the prime color for this game. It's very weird. It's not really a color I uh, assumed a lot of people would like. Yeah, I, I don't want to give you that. I, I want... That. See, this I would accept, but I don't want to spend gas either. So... Make sure fire at will's back on. And I fucked up there. There we go. Hopefully my uh, fleet will actually get into the formation. Nope, they're just gonna just gonna do what they do best. Yeah, so we have. HQ sends word that one of our fleets have finished their task. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna this part here. In the next part, hopefully the lag will be gone, and I'll see you guys then.